Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this Android smartphone by Qbot. It's called King Kong Mini and it's a 4G rugged Android smartphone. Now this is a very small compact smartphone. The last time I've used this phone that's around 4 inch was around I think 2012 or 2013 when the Sony Xperia U came out so that was the time I had that kind of phones. Otherwise after 2015 I think I've always had it like a 5 inch or something above always but I love this design I just you know it's, it's just a memory that having a small phone and how compact it was you know but this one is a, it has a lot of good processor and good features built in now first of all it's a rugged uh, smartphone so perfect for builders etc it has a dual camera as well and a flashlight as well at the front it also has one camera and it got that amazing um, rubber design so it won't break when it falls it also has a charging port here but they're all covered bear in mind because it's waterproof as well um, that's the USB um, C charging port here so it does charge up quite quick and the power button the volume buttons are here made out of good metal um, aluminium design here so you know it's not made out of plastic and yeah that's it it doesn't really have any us um, yeah, 3.5 millimeters headphone jack so you know i'm surprised especially most um low budget phones usually have a headphone slot but obviously a lot of them are stopping that now they want everyone to use bluetooth earphones now now it comes with a usb type c charging cable mains plug here and this okay this is for more for opening up um the sim tray so it's at the back here um i'm not really going into that because it just takes the same at the back and a memory, a memory card i'm going to switch you on so when i switched you on i've already went through this uh, startup so the setup so i went to because i wanted to take a video and a picture as well so i can so show you the quality um, you won't really get the best quality pictures and videos regarding this smartphone. It's only a less than £100 smartphone. It's a compact one, so not too much features are built into it. Let me go through a few things. So it is 4G still. Um, it has a 4-inch screen, um, water-resistant, shock-proof, dust-resistant, and cut-resistant as well. So we got all those features. Touch and touch the touch screen is very responsive, so it's easy to use. It has a built in um, 3 gig RAM and 32 gig internal memory, so decent amount, decent amount of um, apps you can download without slowing it down. Um, bear in mind, it's only 3, 3 gig RAM, so it won't hack too many things. And to be honest, the screen is too small to play certain games, anyways. It, the rear camera is a 13 megapixel and a 0 0.5 megapixel. You know, the fact that you got dual camera is still good. At the front, it has an 8 megapixel camera. And it also has a, a geomagnetism and gyroscope built in as well. Face ID built in with a built in 2000 mAh battery capacity. Okay. Um, Android 9.0 software built into this. Okay, so let me, um, let me go to the settings first. Okay. I don't like the the launcher on this because it, it's so difficult to actually get this up. So you have to hold it and push it up. Now, where's the settings? Okay, the settings here. All right, so you got everything like any Android phones. Okay, Wi-Fi, hotspot, etc. Uh, airplane mode, everything's there at the bottom. Uh, it, because it's small, it's, it's very difficult to actually press the button because the, the the icons are a lot smaller. Um, so connected, you got um, Bluetooth there. Then you got apps, notification, battery, display here. You got the night light. You got the adaptive brightness, wallpaper, advanced. You got the sleep indicator light, rotation, auto rotation, etc. You should be able to get all those up anyways from the top. All right. So you got the um, sound here. So sound, you can control the sounds here. Then you got the storage. Now, without downloading anything, already 6 gig is already taken up. So 90% is already taken up. But I think 32 gig should be just about enough to download a couple of apps, okay, without slowing it down. Uh, you got the security and location. So here you can put all the normal um, locks on, pattern, pin, password, etc. Then you got the face unlock. Bear in mind, it doesn't have the fingerprint unlock because it doesn't really have that option here. Um, let me go back. So you got the accounts here. You can put add accounts. You got accessibility, navigation bar, digital well-being, and parental controls, Google and system. So any like any um, Android smartphones, this is what it has. Okay, let's go down and let's check anything else is meant to have. Sim toolkits. You got the options here. Okay, I couldn't really even go through the, go into that. 
Okay, so let me go to files. Alright. Okay, so I'm just checking everything out. Okay, so he has all those. Now let me go back again and let me go to the camera now. Um, I've just done the recording so you can see the quality of the camera. Alright, so here, that's the picture I've, I've, I've got up. It's not the best quality. I think, is that, this, uh, is that the, uh, bright, most, the brightness? Let me check quickly. Let me put a full brightness so you can see the quality of it. Camera. And let me go there. And that's how the quality is pretty decent, to be honest. That's with a bit of light coming in. You can see from the garden. Um, that's another picture I've taken with a low light because of the TV zone. That's why it's not really good with low light. And that's the video. You can see, it. You can see here the okay, sound so quality. This is the camera quality on this phone. You won't really get the best quality on, from a budget price. You know, they mostly con concentrate on the solid uh, rock design. Um, but, you know, it does have a dual camera. It's still good. In, you know, good lighting, but okay, so you can see that uh, the sound quality. I think it has a very high treble. To be honest, it, do, it it doesn't have that balanced surround sound system and bass looking thing. So when you listen to music, the treble is very high and very squeaky. But you know, it is a budget phone. It does have a lot of good features. It's compact, easy to hold. It's not that heavy, and for the price of less than hundred pound, I do highly recommend it because it is worth the price due to all these features he has um, but other than that thank you for watching my video please do give a like and subscribe